So the official trailer for Halloween Ends released, and so I decided to start my Halloween Ends reviewing all the Halloween movies video series, and this one will be titled Road to Halloween Ends. I was going to do this last year, but I decided to wait until the final movie comes out because, you know, last year was just Kills, and this one was Ends, and I still haven't seen Kills, so, you know, that would have been kind of useless. But anyways, yes, so in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the original Halloween movie, which was directed by Hal... What no, it wasn't directed by Halloween. It was directed by John Carpenter, and this movie was an instant classic, one of John Carpenter's best movies. But before I start telling you why, please take a moment to subscribe, hit the like button, hit the bell, and comment down below, or else. So let's begin this review. And, of course, when you're talking about Halloween, you got to acknowledge that this is... John Carpenter's best film. Now, of course, this is probably John Carpenter's only film I've seen, but I don't think anything can top this film. This film is near perfection. I have seen this movie twice. I saw it once on Halloween night in 2020, and I, you know, I really liked it. I did find the ending to fall a little flat, and so it left me with a sour taste in my mouth. So the next day, I decided to go ahead and watch the film again, and I'm so happy I did because the ending not only didn't fell flat, but I realized that this movie is just a nice, suspenseful masterpiece. Let's get started talking about some positives. And the first one, obviously, this cast is great. Michael Myers has a nice physique in this one. And he, you know, he is a bit creepy at times. Now, I wouldn't say I was necessarily scared at all watching this movie. But Michael Myers has a nice physique and looks nice. And then, of course, you got to talk about Jamie Lee Curtis, one of her first appearances in film. And it's perfect. She just acts her heart out. And she's really awesome in this film, actually. And then, of course, we got to talk about the music, of course, actually. This theme song is my favorite theme song to ever be put on a movie. This theme song is literally awesome. And it's something that I do listen to often. And it's definitely not only something that feels like it's Halloween because of this movie. But I think before the movie was released, this would feel like a Halloween theme song anyways. It's really good, actually. This It's really awesome. Now, of course, this isn't like the 2018 film. Michael Myers feels dangerous. But at the same time, often he doesn't feel dangerous. Because he just walks around killing a couple teens. And he doesn't have that feel like he did in... Uh, he doesn't have that feel like he did in 2018 where he just walks to someone's house and kills them. But you still feel his presence. And some of the kills are awesome as well. Now, one of my big positives for 2018 is that you just have Michael walking to someone's house and killing them. And this one, he only kills a certain select people. But, you know, it also really works. This film is short and sweet. <clears throat> now, it's important to know that the version I watched was the made-for-TV... Not the made-for-TV version, but the edited-to-be-on-TV version, so there's no nudity or whatever. But, um... <clears throat> so, I'm not sure if they... I don't think they edited anything real important out. But, it also might be why this film felt so short. But, it's one of those films that I could just turn on in an afternoon and watch it. It's really fun to watch. It's easy to watch. There's not, like, layers in this one. It's just a serial killer walking around and killing people. It's basic, but it's also suspenseful. It has awesome music. It has awesome kills. Halloween is just an awesome movie. I highly recommend this one, and I really do want to rewatch it, but... I have so many other Halloween movies to watch that I probably won't get around to rewatching this one. But this one, I wouldn't be surprised if it remained at my number one. This is a John Carpenter classic. John Carpenter's Halloween is an instant Halloween classic. So I'm going to give this one an A, a 9 out of 10, and 4.5 and stars. This is one that would definitely be higher, but I haven't seen it for a good two years, so I kind of forget some of it. But when I rewatch it, it will probably be an A+. And then, of course, you must see this movie. This is a must-see classic on Halloween. It's suspenseful, it's thrilling, and if you have kids and they want to watch it, I would recommend you watch the TV version because it has no nudity in anything. But overall, this film is a classic. Thank you for clicking on this video. Very soon I will upload a review for Halloween 
2018 to continue this on. I haven't seen any of the other ones, but I do plan on watching Kill soon and some of the other ones, and I will have reviews for all the other ones once I do watch them, hopefully. But anyways, thank you for clicking on this video. Please take a moment to subscribe and the like button, hit the bell, and comment down below. What is your opinions on the original Halloween? I know it is a masterpiece, and I know you're probably thinking... Oh, a classic movie that Zach act actually likes, especially after my review on Predator. But anyways, thank you for clicking on this video, and as always, make sure to subscribe to join the Nerd Army. Peace out.